to measure trousers. Start at the waist. Form a firm wrap of the waist, also known as the lower waist, at the point where the top of your tape touches the rest of your tape in a circle is your measurement. Make sure to take a firm measurement. To measure the hips, you wrap the tape around the widest area of the hips with the person's legs close together. You make sure the wrap is firm but comfortable. At the point where the top of your tape meets the tape in a circle is the measurement. Now, to get the width of the leg around the thigh, you take your tape through the crotch, forming a circle round the thigh. At the point where the top of your tape touches the rest of your tape is your measurement. You do the same at the knee to get the width of the leg at the knee. Then you come down to the end of the trouser and measure in the same fashion to get the measurement of the end of the trouser. For a palazzo style trouser, the same method applies but with a wider width. Hence, for the thigh, you give an additional 3 inches allowance. For the knee, you give an additional 6 inches allowance. And at the ankle, also known as the end of the trouser, you give an additional 5 inches allowance. For the length of the trousers, starting at the waist, you trace down to the ankle to get your measurement. 